How's it guys? Okay, um, I'm basically going to show you how to make a soft dangle, a rounded one. What we require for that is a pair of side cutters. Any old wire that you might have, I'm just using 200 pound because I've got it lying around. Um, for the 200 pound, 1.3 mil mustard double sleeve. Uh, if it's obviously smaller, 100, 150, it'll be a number one. This is uh, 1 mil, this is 1.3. Um, solid ring, a float, normal shade float, um, another pair of pliers. One thing that um, I don't have here is my mustard um, scissors, which I'm just going to quickly grab. Mustard scissors, very important. Okay, start off with, I'm put everything down, our wire. And obviously our crimp. I've got a whole lot of crimps here. I'm just going to use my crimps. Uh, 1.3. That's 1.3. 1.3. Okay. We basically go through the one side of the crimp. I'm going to grab a solid ring. Let's grab one of the solid rings there quickly. There we go. Okay, what we do is we just go through the solid ring like that and out the other side. It's very simple, very easy and we slide it down as best as we can. Okay, pull as tight as we can on it and squeeze. We'll try it over here just a smaller one okay so there is our solid ring crimped cut a piece of wire not too long um, you can add a bead either side of the dangle it's up to you but I did have and I don't see it here my heat shrink okay I'm gonna have to go get my heat shrink Okay, so don't forget my heat shrink. Just gonna cut a little piece of heat shrink off there. Stick that through onto it and over it. Now, what you're gonna do is you wanna push the heat shrink up against the actual solid ring. What that does is stops it from moving around. The harder you push it, the harder that's actually gonna be. Okay, okay, so basically, we take our lighter. Push that heat shrink up against it. And there we go. Okay. Just grab a little bead. Like I say, beads are optional, it's up to you. Yeah. Okay, slide that down, go through the actual loop like that. Make sure you go through the center. There we go, okay, so it's in the center the way it should be. Slide another bead on, like that. Now you don't need heat shrink on this part of it until you've actually made your loop because this part is where, and that's why we do it the way we do it, this part is where your hook's going to go through. So automatically you're going to put heat shrink on afterwards. So what we do is we just take that, put your pliers and just try and pull it down. Until you get the right size that you want it to be. And make sure your hook will actually fit in there. Okay, which it will now. I'm just going to cut that down. Okay, again, just take your pliers, side cutters, crimping tool, whatever you might have. Okay, just make sure this is nice and round, which it is. We then take our heat shrink, one point, uh, sorry, 2.4 mil heat shrink, works very well. If 
if you find it's a little bit tight all you're going to do is take that wire and just bend it in a little bit like that so it goes down 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 to there like that again just take your lighter okay happiness by the body and now we start shaping it the easiest way is just to cut it around again on this side okay now we just taper it down nicely so that we get almost a round shape to it that's nice unfortunately it takes a little bit of time if you've got a young daughter like I have just give it to her and tell her to cut I tell you what they make some of the most fantastic looking dangles around If you've got a talented daughter like mine, she'll put glitter on it for you too. Okay, so that's that. Okay, guys, there we go. So there is a very simple, easy dangle. It's soft, and that's the important part. If you're fishing for fish like hammers, they've got a very small mouth that want a soft bait, chocker bait, stuff like that. If you're making a chocker bait, that red will glow through it nicely. That's why we use the red ones. Um, i tell you what that little float floats right up in the water column hammers go absolutely ape for a very soft small bait like that um, fishing for gray sharks you can go harder on it and I'll show you another dangle that we use which is 10 times easier to make there's no cutting involved um, but you'll use harder wire it's nice it's soft it's it's flipping awesome for those finicky fish those finicky sharks and that also edible fish you just make it smaller it's up to you but there we go there's a lovely little dangle that's easy to make and throws a country mile